So Ross, uh, welcome to Ealing Trail Finders. You've begun your role as Head of Community here. Uh, how have the first few weeks been at Ealing Trail Finders? Um, so far they've been absolutely brilliant. We've been out talking to lots of people, lots of different schools and, and other clubs and actually other club officials and um, so far it's been fantastic. It's been a really positive uptake in what we're trying to do and that actually makes my job a lot easier. It's clearly a very broad role. What are the first things that uh, are on your top of, top of the, your list of kind of jobs, things that you're going to be getting out there going to do? Um, well, I think number one is um, growing the summer camp we've got running in August. Um, so that's top of the agenda. The second thing we're looking at growing is our involvement in the schools programme. We've actually set up a partner schools programme. And what that does is that allows the school to be as involved with Ealing Trail Finders as much as possible whilst taking on some of our community coaches to help them deliver with their sports. Could be anything, could be rugby, could be netball, could be football, but we're just looking to grow our involvement. One of the other things that we're looking to grow a lot is uh, our girls programme. So we used to have something running in the past and we're looking to um, kickstart that again and see what we can do on the girls front. Uh, in terms of community coaches, you mentioned we're going to be recruiting a few to be going out into schools, etc. Plenty of exciting opportunities that uh, you'll be looking to get some applicants in. Yeah, absolutely. And um, we're looking for level two and up coaches. Um, however, if you're working towards level two, you can still get in touch. We're absolutely keen on allowing people to develop as much as they can within Ealing. And if you want to be part of this club, then you're absolutely open. Uh, you're ab we're absolutely open to allowing you to come in and get involved. Uh, the August um, summer rugby camp had the May half-term camp. We'll be looking to build on that uh, exciting one. Yeah, absolutely. The May camp was a great way to start. We had um, quite a few boys and girls down getting involved, and that's something that we're going to look to build on in August. Um, the more the merrier, as I can say. It's going to be here at Vallis Way, and uh, we can't wait to get, our, get stuck into that. I guess the main aim of the role is to kind of increase the crowd, uh, you know, generate extra attendance on a match day what's the main kind of aim how are we going to do that over the next year or so do you think I suppose the way to grow would be to get our brand and our badge and our name out there and getting involved in local community as much as possible and letting them know that Ealing Trail Finders Rugby is here and we're playing a really exciting brand of rugby um, a brand that's going to take us to new levels and we want as many people in Ealing and the surrounding areas as possible to come in and be involved in that you mentioned it already about entering into schools soon that uh, must be pretty exciting as well. Yeah, very exciting. Um, you know, schools rugby in England has never been stronger and that's something that we really want to be part of. We want to help schools on their journey and develop, not just in rugby as I said earlier, but in any kind of sporting field. That's something that we're quite passionate about and something we're really going to build. Personally for you, a former professional rugby player, uh, you just left Harlequins where you had a schools role. Um, what kind of excited you? What made you uh, cross over Keybridge to, uh, to Ealing Trail Finders? I suppose the direction that the club's looking to go, um, the direct rugby Ben Ward um, has really got a fantastic vision and something that uh, he's he's very keen to build towards. Um, I've worked with lads coddling in the past as a player, and I know that um, the quality of coaching here for the lads playing for the first team is absolutely top class. Um, the direction the club's going is an exciting one, and it's something that uh, I really want to be part of.